Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is the Gentech ECM 2.3 variable speed blower motor testing. So this blower motor right here is the ECM 2.3, and you can tell that by the 16-pin connector right here. Uh, this is supplied with line voltage all the time, uh, and if this was in a package unit or an air handler, this would be 240 uh, volts. If it was in an indoor furnace, this would be powered with 120 volts all the time, any time that you have power going to your furnace. Now the 2.3 model ends up powering this blower motor with 24 volt signals depending on the pin connectors will depend on the speeds. Uh, TechMate Pro has a tester that you can just go ahead and attach this to 24 volts. It doesn't matter if this gets attached to hot and this to common or this to hot and this to common. In this case we can connect it from here onto the transformer uh, which is 24 volts and then we could plug our 16 pin connector in this already has power to it and then we can go ahead and see if our motor turns on as well the TechMate Pro has a 3.0 connector uh, in order to send 24 volts to just those two uh, pins and that will be able to determine if your uh, ECM 3.0 motor will turn on or if it's not going to turn on indicating that there's a problem so on my other videos, I've gone over how to test the ECM 3.0 without a tester like this. I've also gone over how to test a X13 blower motor without any other type of uh, testing device. In this case, since this is a 16 pin connector, this is a little bit harder to jump out and I wanna show you which pins you can uh, connect a spare connector to in order to basically make a tester of your own. So anytime you replace older units, you can go ahead and uh, cut the 16-pin connector out, and then you have basically a tester. I'm going to show you which ones to wire, uh, and you don't need all of these wires. I'll show you which ones to go ahead and pull out, and which ones to power, which ones to put the common wire on. So here's a spare connector, and, and you see that we have the tab on the top right now. You can see that the top five on the left-hand side, you can go ahead and pull those wires out, and the bottom left you can pull out as well you can pull out the third uh, from the right on the bottom and then you have the rest of these basically these three wires get connected it's the top right one and then it's third from the right and then this one is on the bottom uh, second to the left so whether this is hot and this is common or whether this is hot and this is common it doesn't really matter you just want to have them all connected together uh, if you're going to have a permanent setup, I would make it longer than this, and I would also go ahead and solder these wires together just to make sure that you don't have a wire falling out of the connector. So that's what I would do. So here's a quick little drawing of what the connector looks like with the tab on the top, and you're looking at the back of the connector where the wires are. Now you see that the power is coming over to the TechMate Pro. We're going to go ahead and turn it on, applying 24 volts over to the pin connector. And you see that our blower motor is operating. So now we're going to go ahead and turn this off and we're going to connect our homemade one. We're going to go ahead and apply power to the transformer and turn it on. So now we're sending voltage over to our pin connector and, and that works just as well. So that's how you do it. And if you're looking for the tools used in this video, such as the UEI multimeter or the TechMate Pro, I have them both linked in the comment and description section below. And if you want to help support this HVACR training channel, any purchases made after clicking on any of the Amazon links whatsoever, it doesn't have to be that actual item. Uh, if there's a purchase made, that ends up providing a commission to the channel. And that's one way to support us. The other way is if you go over to patreon.com slash acservicetech, we have a bunch of uh, articles written there and other videos there. And the way that Patreon works is supporters pledge to give a dollar, three dollars, five dollars and up for every new AC Service Tech YouTube video uploaded to the channel here. And in order to show my appreciation, I spend extra time answering their questions. I try to help them out. Well, I hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech channel.